Hello you lovely people this is me the Bombay chef Varun Namdar and welcome to get curried. Today's recipe of course is a chicken recipe it's a chicken based recipe but it's not a curry it's not a gravy it's not a biryani it's not a pulao it's something very different. Ladies and gentlemen presenting to you chicken salami at home preservative free let's begin. First things first, chicken breast, boneless of course. I'm going to cut this into little cubes like so. Ensure that the chicken breast is fat free as much as possible. Now of course there are different kinds of salami or different kinds of cold cut that also use fat in the recipe, but that's for another day. This one is nice and lean and is perfect for your breakfast, your sandwiches and so much more. Let's begin seasoning this and adding in some spices as well. Beginning with black pepper, freshly crushed. Now there is a detailed recipe in the description box and you need to follow that with precision because this literally uses a ratio and a proportion. Do not goof this up because this also along with chicken eventually has cold water, chilled water, literally iced water so that all of this gets mixed well, ground well in a grinder. Of course, I'm going to use a domestic grinder for this and I'll show you how. To this, I'm going to add in ginger powder. This is dry ginger powder. And again, generally, I always say salt as required, salt to taste and you know, we keep going on. But this one, you need to follow with precision. Grain sugar. You can also use your super wine sugars of the world. Red chili powder. You can also replace this with uh, sweet paprika or with cayenne pepper. This one is fresh dairy cream. Now this will ensure that this becomes nice and smooth, almost like a pate and that's intentional for this recipe. Let's mix all of this together. Let's move on to the next step and that is grinding this into a fine paste. Now generally, we have industrial or commercial pulverizers or pulpers, but of course, we do not have that in the confines of our home. So I'm gonna use a mixer jar and add this in. You can do this in two parts or three parts depending on the size and quantity. Ensure that you scrape every bit of this goodness and do not waste even a grain of spice or salt because that's where the flavor is. Eventually to this so that this grinds well and also because you need that kind of moisture in the salami, I'm going to add in 100 ml of ice cold water. Do not use ice in the recipe, only use the water which is nice and cold because the ice is also going to get crushed and eventually that's going to increase the amount of water and you do not want that. We cover this with a lid and grind this into fine smooth paste. Let's do that. The chicken salami mixture is finely ground and ready. I've also transferred this in another container. Time to mix all of this well. Well, of course, the grinder will do its job of mixing, but just to be nice and safe. And now we move on to the step of cooking this. Now, generally, I see a lot of age-old recipes where we actually pressure cook the salami, but I'm going to teach you a home-style recipe, and that's why a home-style way of making the salami at home. We all have coffee mugs at home, Let's make this salami in a coffee mug. The first thing is to add just a few drops of regular vegetable oil and we brush the bottom and the sides of this bowl. The next step is to take this mixture by the spoon and transfer it into this cup. And while you're doing this, we also suppose to remove the air from this. Keep pressing this like so. Ensure that there are no bubbles, no pockets of air, absolutely in this. Time to clean the edges and the sides. And cap this up with a butter paper. Just place this and press it like so. This is done and ready. Let's now move into this homemade apparatus that I'm going to create for steaming the salami. The first step is to take a kitchen duster or a napkin and place this in a pot like so. Now the size of the pot or the height of the pot needs to be slightly above this cup and I think that should be perfect. Let's place this like so to just do a quick check. That's where the apparatus is. 
let's move this out for now and to this I'm going to add in water now this water of course is going to steam up and cook the salami now you'd be wondering why a Turkish napkin or a towel at the bottom that is to ensure that the cup does not break or crack while cooking let's now place this very carefully and I'm going to cover this with another piece of cloth like so we cover this with a lid turn the flame on the whole idea is to ensure that this apparatus is functioning for 30 minutes now you may have to add in water every 10 minutes just ensure that this is covered undisturbed for 30 minutes on medium to high flame so now let this cook at ease at this stage off goes the flame and let's now check the salami very carefully because all of this is steaming hot at this point in time and carefully with the help of a tong we're going to remove the napkin and now the moment of truth with this a salami is cooked and ready the next step is to allow this to be at room temperature for at least 15 to 20 minutes and after which we're going to refrigerate this for at least an hour and a half so now two hours of allowing this to cool down completely and after that i'm going to show you some magic a salami has now taken two hours to completely settle and cool down let's have a quick check one tap and the salami is done and ready it's now absolutely well chilled and now you can slice it and you can use it for your breakfast trays, for your sandwiches. The choice is completely yours. Salami is thinly sliced. Let's move on to a quick recipe using the salami. I'm going to show you how to make salami sandwiches. For that, of course, I'm going to need sliced bread. And instead of butter, I'm going to quickly mix mayonnaise along with sriracha. I'm going to smear this spread on bread slices, top this up with lettuce, salami, pack it up, cut and serve. 